Hi and welcome to the play review of Inform Hinnert Goitem. He plays for AIK in the Alsvenskan. He has a medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. He has a two star weak foot and he's got three star skills. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 91 strength, so 85 shot power, 78 ball control, 78 volleys. We've also included gains from his non-inform. So this is the team we used Goitem in. We used a 4-5-1 Alsvenskan bronze and silver mixed team. And we're playing Goitem up top as the target man. So now on to how we felt about Goitem. His big plus is his strength and that is his major standout stat. He has got 91 strength and he did use it to good effect on a lot of times as well. We've got a couple examples now of him holding off the players under a fair bit of pressure. Uh, using one to score and then the other to hold up play it and then release the pass So I'd recommend him personally. I'd recommend as a target man Utilize his strength up top through the middle holding the ball up Then looking for his runners to release the pass to make use of his massive strength uh, Unfortunately his other physical stats do suffer a bit. He has poor acceleration agility and balance but on the plus side, he does have good ball control, along with a flair trait as well. So he is able to keep hold of the ball in the middle, and then look for his runners on the pass. Another big plus is 85 shot power as well. But unfortunately, he's only got average finishing and average long shots. So he's going to be relying more on that power to try and beat the keeper. Goitem was good in the air though. Despite poor jumping, he did manage to get a couple of headers using his strength to overpower defenders and get his head onto the ball. So he is good in the air, as, a, as we said, he's, I'd probably play him as on his own, as a target man, instead of a pair up top. So if you do struggle with uh, the slower players, he may not be the one for you. He did feel quite cumbersome on a couple of occasions as well. So let's go and have a look at his performance stats. In 10 games we scored 10 goals with Goitem and we got 4 assists. Now we've got all these stats down the left hand side there, we've got his goals on the right hand side uh, and on the bottom right we've got the goal position so you can see where he's been scoring from. You can always pause the video for a closer look at his stats now if you'd like. So overall we're going to give Goitem a 7.5 out of 10. Not amazing, a bit hit and miss for me, some games he was amazing, some games he was quite poor to be honest, as we said felt a bit cumbersome. Some games he did finish quite a lot of chances. And he probably could benefit with a high attacking work rate as well. He has a medium attacking work rate. Medium, medium. Uh, and his two star weak foot did let him down quite a bit. So finally we're going to go on to positives and negatives. His positives are, we said, he's got massive strength. 91 strength. He's got good shot power. So we'd make a good target man if you want to make a target man team. 4-2-3-1, 4-5-1 and the like. Even a 4-3-3. His negatives are, he's got poor physical stats barring his strength. He's only got a two star weak foot which was quite poor. We only one, we had one decent one with his left foot, the rest were quite poor. And he was very inconsistent like we said, he's hit and miss. So I'd recommend him if he goes under the 10k range which I can't really see. You never know, he might be lucky, he might drop that far. Uh, not enough value really in him for me. So thanks a lot for watching lads, leave a like if you did enjoy the review and the way we do the stats, subscribe if you're new as well, we've got plenty more stuff coming up and we've got loads of stuff when FIFA 15 comes out, we'll be doing scrub builders and reviews all the time, so thanks a lot for watching lads, cheers.